because there's never any judgment. There's never any, any comparison. There's never any of that. It just changes how you move. <laughs> if it's not going to feed your soul in the end, why do you want it? He want the stool. She want the tea. Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to Aries Routines. Today's video is gonna be five things every black woman should do. Y'all stay tuned. All right, before I hop into the video, fragrance of the day. Today's combination, or actually last night's combination um, when I got out of the shower, is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Whoop. And Sol de Janeiro's um, 71. It's a caramelized vanilla and macadamia. It, um, they kind of smell similar. I like this combination. Um, it's a good fall combination as well. And they smell similar, but they don't. It's like they, they play on each other. I like it. Um, this is very like, sh not sugary, very sweet, savory almost. It smells like, um, like candied pecans or candied like some kind of nut it's very good very good for fall and then this kind of plays on it as well where it's just kind of like a sexier um kind of vanilla-y scent these two together amazing moving right into number one orange blush i think every black woman should try orange blush like it doesn't matter what skin shade you are this same blush looks amazing on myself and my sister and we're two completely different shades um i think every black woman should try it i've seen it on the richest darkest skin tones and it looks amazing also orange lipstick but we're sticking with orange blush and i'm actually going to put it on because i don't have any blush on right now as you may be able to see i don't know my lighting might be a little funky because i'm trying out new lights but let's put it on I didn't want to leave y'all with silence because y'all deserve more. I kind of feel like I liked the look without blush, period. I think it just was kind of giving like clean girl aesthetic a little bit. Um, but as you can see, blush is fire. Okay, fire. So this is with the orange blush on. I did a little bit too much, but I'm okay with it. Um, I was never a blush girly, honestly. And if I did use blush, it was kind of like a mauve -y, almost like this color or like more berry. And I wanted a certain look this summer. I wanted to be like bronzy, gold. If you saw my video, then you know. And I was like, let me try orange blush. And I fell in love. <laughs> I have not gone back to the other blushes at all. And it's just so beautiful, sun-kissed, warm, just everything I'm trying to embody. <laughs> so yeah, try Orange Blush. This is um, Sweet Cheeks by NYX. I'm trying to see the color of it. It's somewhere on here. Almost Famous. So it's this almost famous amazing number two because at this point i just forgot to finish my makeup um <laughs> we are trying or we're going to try brown lip liner with a clear lip gloss i feel like we created this we may not have but if you haven't tried it try it my friends are not into makeup at all they're like lip gloss and like lashes or mascara kind of girls and I don't hate on that because like sometimes that's what all I want to but they just don't do makeup but they also don't do like lip liner or anything it's just clear lip gloss when I tell you a brown lip liner with clear lip gloss hits every time it hits every time watch this like right now I just have on chapstick but i can't think it's a vanilla chapstick by birds and bees in the tin can um because i needed some moisture honestly but just look how it pulls the look together i'm gonna take the og mac lip liner in chestnut if you haven't tried it 
get it it is worth the it's like probably like 20 18 to 20 dollars still but it's worth it it is the best like richest color and i'm sure there's another like cheaper brand that makes a color similar and if you know of one please link it or put it down in the comments um because i'm open to trying more like affordable brands because <laughs> 18 dollars for a lip liner is like low-key ridiculous but love it and i've had it for years it's probably expired but we're not going to talk about that so mirror here Just um, some NYX Butter Gloss Sugar Glass. It's a little bit <laughs> not clear anymore because I always do it with like lip liner, but I love it. It smells like vanilla. And if you know me, you know, we love vanilla. So did it not just pull this whole look together? It's amazing. It doesn't matter how big or little or whatever your lips are. It's going to hit every time. Y'all, do it. If you haven't done it or if you're like a chapstick girly where you're just like, mm, I don't know about that. Try just like a lip gloss and mascara. Try a brown lip liner with some clear gloss and a little bit of mascara. And it just changes how you move. <laughs> For three, and we're going to kind of jump, deep dive right into things that we should be requiring of ourselves. And it is a little bit deeper. I know I told y'all I was starting surface level, but we kind of skin deep at this point. Number three is therapy. Now, personally, I haven't started yet. I will be starting, but I do know because my sister is a therapist, the things that it can teach you about yourself and just like unpacking things that you didn't know could be like triggers or trauma or all the T's, okay? <laughs> things that you didn't know. Sometimes it just helps to talk to somebody you don't know, like who really like, doesn't care about your life, isn't invested in your life other than your well-being of your mental health. Every Black woman, I say Black people, people period, but specifically Black people, Black women, because that's who I'm speaking to right now, should try it. Um, I know I'm, I'm an advocate and I haven't done it myself, but I'm an advocate because I live with a therapist, y'all. Who? That's a struggle in itself, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> but, but it is very much something I think every Black woman should do or try or whatever floats your boat. Number four. This is number five of the times I'm trying to do this. Um, number four is having your boundaries and sticking to them slash having your wants and being okay with what you want not settling so as far as boundaries go if there is something that you know you need in a partner in a job in a whatever and the person or role is not fulfilling that it's okay to say hey i'm good now it's hard it is very hard to have your boundaries and say and take a step back but with boundaries comes honestly loss loss comes with boundaries because there are going to be people that will not want to uphold or themselves or the role or whatever to what you need from them and honestly if it's not going to feed your soul in the end why do you want it that's what we need to be focused on is why are you willing to waver your boundaries for so and so or for whatever and honestly what goes along with this number four is like i really feel as though 
black women are the only women that are told to settle for a man that does not protect, provide whatever that we want in a man. We're always told to change what we want to fit whomever is in black men at the time. And honestly, don't. If you want a man that's going to pay all the bills, if you want a man that's going to do X, Y, and Z, if you want that, then go for that. There, Believe me, there are men that will. And there are men that won't. And guess what? If he doesn't want to, he's not your person. He's not your type. If he does not want to do the things that you need, that's not for you. And you can't be afraid to walk away because you hold that power. So have your boundaries and stick to them. Have your wants and your needs. Don't be afraid to compromise, but also don't be afraid to walk away because we're worth every penny. We're worth all the effort. We're worth all the time. And now also black women, we gotta, we gotta give too. Now we gotta give too, but it's not about that right now. What I'm talking about is whatever you want, get it all your boundaries that you have uphold yourself to the same boundaries and your person will come last but not least number five is self-love y'all we really have to learn to love ourselves in everything that we are and I know it's easier said than done as well as the last one, as number four. Um, but really, like, taking our time to learn who we are and accept who we are and love every piece of us, even the pieces that are not so cute, not so friendly, because we all have that. We're all human. But learning to love yourself. I think that is the one thing that nobody can ever or anyone can ever take from me no one can ever take how I feel about myself away and being so self-assured in who you are is such a, a beautiful thing it's so amazing to be surrounded by women who are who know who they are and you know exactly who those women are because there's never any judgment there's never any, any comparison there's never any of that it's almost as though you're learning from one another you're yearning to learn from that person or whatever and that is why friendships are so important as an adult the friends you have yes as kids i just as it was actually just in a sermon I was watching, but as kids, yeah, it matters. But the friends that you have around you, and I've spoken about this, I think to my sister a little while ago, is like, I want to have friends that I can learn from and that I am getting something from mentally or spiritually or whatever. I don't want to have surface level friends. I don't want to have any of that. I want to have friends that like, maybe they're doing better than me in a certain area and I can learn from them or I'm doing better than them in a certain area and they can learn from me. We are giving and taking and just a even flow of friendship. I, you, I need that. So I think that all starts from self-love because you can have friends that are strong-willed, strong-minded, self-assured, and there will never be any comparison. And that is amazing and honestly i do think that self-love for me also starts from loving god because if you love god truly love god and give your life to him how can you not love something that he meticulously made so self-love is number five y'all and it's one of probably the most important things that i've spoken about today well that is all for today's video um if you don't mind like comment and subscribe uh until next time y'all be safe bye orange bless specifically i feel like i ate the lip gloss off lord